John McCase first in coach Mark Hams after this afternoon's 3 1 win over Lewis. Mark, I spoke to Dallas last week and said when Wade Small is fully fit, he's going to cause problems. What a first half he had with two great goals. Yeah, two, two, um, two last week, two this week. We had a behind closed doors uh, friendly at Whiteleaf on Wednesday. He got three in that a first half hat trick, dragged him off at half time. Probably would have got another hat trick in the second half. But to be honest with you, I think he could do better. It's going to sound harsh. I think he can do better. I think all of the front men can do better because, number one, we're creating chances that we're missing. Um, and you might say that's why we're at this level. But on top of that, we're doing session after session at training where he set up drills for the front men. Some of the finishing is phenomenal. So if they can carry that from training sessions into games, then, um, then we'll score more goals. I think we're the top scorers in the division. I think that puts us up to 17 now. So in a way, the, the sessions that we're putting on are paying off, but we've got, we can score more. Um, and it's not as though the sessions are unopposed uh, um, that we set up, the, the, the finishing sessions, they are sort of, um, there's problems to solve in them, it's not just whacking a ball into a goal, so if they can carry that into games then we'll, we'll score a lot more goals. And we went in at half time 2 and up against 10 men, what did you say to the players at half time to make sure they kept their focus? The thing I was concerned about is that um, it's, it's an obvious thing to say, I'd keep your focus and don't lose concentration and but putting that into practice is another matter but Rather than concentrating on saying, well, don't let's have both fullbacks on at any one time and become exposed in wide areas, anyone, it doesn't matter whether you're playing against 11 or 8, somewhere along the line, the other team's going to get on the ball and they will counter attack. And counter attacks are generally scared, scored through middle areas. So I was a bit more concerned about not leaving ourselves exposed in front of the centre halves. Now, that doesn't mean we were going to employ a, a holding player. What it does mean is, is that we don't lose concentration through those areas because we'll easily come unstuck. And that's basically the only information. Um, I offered. The manager pretty much said, well done. Um, don't beat yourselves up about conceding a goal. Go and get more and win the game. At the very least, it ends 2-1. And what was your take on the red card? The second yellow that their number nine got was right in front of you. Yeah, it was, but it's going to sound pathetic. I didn't really see it. All, all I could get the gist of was that there was an elbow thrown. Um, and in fairness, nobody from our bench really jumped out and tried to get him sent off. So... If it, uh, it was, a, I don't know whether it's a case of it was bad, but no one saw it, or it wasn't that bad, and the ref got it wrong. I don't know. I really can't tell you. Even though it's four yards away, I just didn't see it. And you made a double substitution just after the third goal. Clayton put the ball in, Lodge scored it, and you took them both off. Yeah, it'd be the last time they do that again, wouldn't it? That's a punishment. <laughs> um, well, the plan was to take them two off anyway. We just wanted to get um, not more energy really, because they're both energetic players, but sort of more defensive discipline players, if you like. But those two will get us goals all day long, as they've they proved really, like you just said as an example there. But um, sometimes you've got to take on. Put, sometimes you've got to put your boring hat on and just say, right, that's enough. Um, let's go and bore the game out and win two one or three one in the case it was when they scored. And was that half an hour on Monday's game at Wildstone? Yeah, oh, more than half. Yeah, I mean the manager really turned up today and said, um, look, I've got two teams here. There's one for um, today. Don't matter what the score is, we could win ten 0 today, and that'll be the team for Monday. So um, yeah, definitely more than one eye on, on the game on. on on Monday, and now our, our record at Wildstone or against Wildstone, whether it be over there or here, isn't the best to be honest with you since we've had the job. So we really want to um, not, not go and get one over on them, but just at least go and give a good account of ourselves for a change over there. It's great to see Tom Bird back in the case yet today. What's the story behind that? Well, to be honest with you, the, um, the ins and outs of the, um, of the clubs battling against each other, which I think is sort of people have um, um, made their own stories up on that. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of, of what's going on behind the scenes. And to be honest with you, because I'm not officially the manager, I don't care. To be honest with you, I really don't want to get involved in it. Um, but all I know is that <laughs> in the five and a half years since we've worked here together, Dallas and I, I've got the biggest um, F off the other day by basically just asking the question, are you sure you're doing the right thing? And then I, I don't know whether I caught him at the wrong time or whatever, but I just got, I had to sew my head back on at one point where he just said, listen, just leave it to me. I know what I'm doing. I'm the manager. It's my decision and I will get this one right. So... Yeah, it's good to see him back. Um, I went to see Carl Shorten a couple of times. I thought out of um, the back four on the two occasions I watched him, Tom was probably the, better play the best player out of the back four. Um, I haven't got a problem with him. I've pulled him um, and, and, and given my opinion on what happened and things that were said um, and people trying to sort of stir a little bee's nest up. And, and that's it. That's, but I'm, I'm pleased to have him back to answer your question. Yeah, no, it's great to see him back. And he's certainly played his part as the whole team. We're now, we're now sitting top of the league. Is his top eight still a realistic target? The manager keeps getting stick for it. Uh, ten? Can we go for ten? Top ten? Have we got. To do yeah, I think so. I mean, if it's, it's just so early. It really is. So people, people was somebody said to me the other day, "Oh, this weekend will make or break your season." How can it? You're seven games in. How can that make or break your season? It can. It can give you a chance. It can fill you with 
confidence going into Monday and if you do alright Monday and then it can take you into Saturday etc etc and it snowballs but it's not gonna, this weekend's not going to make or break our season we're just giving ourselves a chance and if we can stay in contact for the majority of the season then the same as probably 10 other teams in this division we've got a chance of nicking a playoff place Cheers Mark, nice one Cheers, thank you